All right, so in today's video, we're going to be covering stage 30 vocabulary and derivatives. First, we have up odd hook, an adverb that means until now. A ficio, a ficere, a fake effectus is a third IO um, verb made into a factor to overcome. You can see how it's literally odd plus facio pushed together. Ambo, ambai, ambo is a 2 1 2 adjective. It's a little bit irregular because it has that O in there instead of the US, but it means both. And so someone who's ambivalent kind of could go both ways. Consulo, consulere, consului, consultus is a third conjugation verb meaning to consult. Creo, creare, creawi, creatus is a first conjugation verb meaning to make or to create. And so we get creature from this. Demito, demitere, demissi, demissus is a third conjugation verb meaning to let down or to lower. Um, dismiss also can, is related to this word. And you can see how it's it's a combination of de, down from, and mito, to send. So it's literally someone is sending down from. Dewes, 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 and then the genitive form dewitis is a third a third declension adjective. And remember, this means that the masculine, the feminine, and the neuter are all going to look the same. It means rich. It's related to our next word, dewitis. Dewitii, which is dewitii dewitiarum, a first clenching feminine noun meaning riches. So this is a noun, dewitii. Dewes is an adjective. Dubium dubii is a second clenching neuter noun meaning doubt. And so we get dubious from it as well. Extruo, extrure, extruxi, extructus is a third conjugation verb meaning to build. Festum a um is a 2 1 2 adjective meaning festive or holiday. So we get festoon or festival from it. You would be describing a day as uh, with this adjective, uh, uh, holiday. So it's literally a, um, a festive day, which is why we get the combination of holiday. Inuria, inuria is a first declension feminine noun meaning injustice or injury. And so we can see how. Both of those come from it, and also injurious. Ludus ludi is a second declension masculine noun, which has two meanings. In this story, it means gain, but it can also mean a school. The Magnus Ludus is the gladiator school near the Colosseum in Rome. And then ludicrous comes from it as an English derivative. Magister magistri is a second declension masculine noun. Notice. It ends in an R, but it's a second declension. It's just like we're, it's just like puer. Um, it has a connotation of being the master, the foreman, or also the teacher. That's why I'm Magister Carol. Um, magic, magisterial, someone who is in charge of and can take control of something. Natus, nata, natum is a 2 1 2 adjective meaning to be, uh, to born, be born. So we get natal and prenatal from it. Nemus is an adverb meaning to. You've seen this um, used with genitive forms. Um, too much wine. Uh, nimium uh, weenie. So you can see how it's related there. Omnino is an adverb meaning completely, and it's related to omnis. Opus operis is a third declension neuter noun. And it's a work or a construction, um, kind of so a construction site. So the the performing arts center at school currently is a opus. It's a construction area. Opus school is a derivative from it. You can also remember this um, by the movie Mr. Holland's Opus, uh, his work, his life's work. Palesco, palescare, pal palui is a third conjugation verb meaning to grow pale. It's related to, um, it, we get the English word pallor from it. Power, powaris is a third declension masculine noun, meaning panic or terror. A lot of these OR nouns uh, in the third declension are going to be masculine, just as a, a hint to help remember gender. 
Presto, prestare, prestiti is a first conjugation verb, a little irregular. Notice it's stiti, not um, stawi, like you would expect. It means to show or to display. Literally means to stand in front of, pry in front of, sto, to stand. Presto, like an, what a magician says, is to show something. Criteria is an adverb meaning besides. Quire is a question word meaning why, and so it's obviously synonymous with the other question word, cur, that means why. Sedis, sedis is a third declension feminine noun, means seat. You can see how it's related to the verb sedeo, to sit. Sepulchrum sepulchri is a second declension neuter noun, meaning to. Sol, solus, pretty easy to figure out. It's a third declension masculine noun, meaning sun. We get solarium or solar, any of those, any of those types of words. So or so oris, we've already learned um, frater, fratris, and so now we just have the other one. Uh, it's a third declension feminine noun, obviously. It means sister. We get the word sorority from it. Strepitus, strepitus is a fourth declension masculine noun. We haven't seen one of those fourth declensions in a while. So remember, we know it's fourth declension because of the us in the genitive means noise or dim. So it's synonymous with clamor or sonitus. Tempestas, tempestas, tempestatus is a third declension feminine noun, meaning storm. Um, and so Shakespeare wrote a play called The Tempest, literally about the storm. Timor, timoris is a third declension masculine noun. Remember, those ORs oftentimes are going to be masculine means fear. So it's obviously going to be related to timeo. We get an English derivative, uh, the verb timeo, to be afraid. And we get the English derivative timorous from that. All right, that's all we have for today. Hope you enjoyed the video.